nickname or alias is Ship's Hyun. My alias is Internet Hulk. Harry Hook. My alias is Coco. I'm Taimu. My alias is Tailspin, and I play for Envious. The team came together in the very early stage of the first beta. It was uh, me forming a team and then searching for players. I came across Internet Hulk, who also was interested in making a team. Met Harry Hook and Coco through them as well. We started joining online tournaments. We won everything. We joined Envious. We moved to America, and that's the story. Envious has been the main juggernaut in the Overwatch scene for a very long time, and pretty much all they do in Overwatch is win. I think Team Envious, the reason for us being fairly dominant, I'd say, was we practiced the most and the hardest. We were also the first to move into a gaming house, which further gave us a step ahead. We formed first, we got the most experience. I feel like we took the game more seriously than other teams did at the start. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Overwatch Open. They're one of the favorites to make it deep in the tournament. They've had two weeks of boot camp. They're just looking very crisp at this point. Team Envious is dominant because we have very good team chemistry and very clear and good communication. Just brutal play coming in from Envy, pretty much what we expected. Our team doesn't really have a main shot color. Everyone calls for plays. Everyone makes decisions. We are all very vocal, and uh, this really helps a lot, I think. Taimu, though, with the whole hawk, and that is a victory for Envious. I think we also have a lot of fun together. I think it's important to do well, to just enjoy each other's company. Getting along with teammates, especially in Overwatch, it's such a team-heavy game. I'd say it's really important. And Envy, they're just so solid as a team. They have no weaknesses. If one person does make a mistake, the other five people are there to help clean it up. You need to have six individuals who are top-notch in their game, and they need to support each other. Envy just displaying their dominance here. The future of Overwatch for us as a team. I hope we start with E-League winning some championships. Winning here would uh, make us not just being onliners. We want to be able to win at LAN as well. Really, it's not really about the money, but really championships. We really want to get those first place. And that'll do it! Envy is moving to the Grand Finals! It's uh, crazy how far Esport has come, and being part of the first televised Overwatch game, yeah, that would be amazing. That's, that's the goal.
that it is one of the longer escort maps in the entire game. You have to go through multiple choke points. First, you go to the pre-hangar phase where the defense can use high ground and flanking to its advantage. Then you go to the hangar phase where the defense can use even more high ground and it's a real problem for the offense. And then the last point is a little bit more wide open and you have more opportunity for heroes that do well in those areas like your McCrees, like your Widowmakers when she's played, that sort of stuff. Yeah, now you're gonna see the payload there right at the beginning. So unlike King's Row, you're not going to have to take a checkpoint before you're able to move the payload. It's gonna be misfits here on the defensive side of things. They will have soon running that Reaper yet again. And it's going to be Taimu committing to the Roadhog here on Watch Point Gibraltar. The battles will go underway here shortly. As you see, it's going to be Envy using that Maywall to get a boost, and she is put to sleep, getting in at Ice Block, trying to stay alive. Fantastic play there at a Zevix, but it's going to be Taimu almost able to get a pick there early. That was quite the gambit there by Envy, almost paid off. It was in in a flash. That hook very well could have ended a Misfit's life, but Misfit's able to recover, and Taimu right now just staying up here looking for pickups, and Envy rolling in once more. A hook kick coming in the zone, but no, the charge instead! The combo play, soon though, in the back line, trying to get in onto Envious is 4v4 right now, but still, breaking over Envy as another hook rolls right in. Uh, and Coco took Taimu's first kill. He got a little bit angry, and he is hunting for more. You see he's chasing Lucio all around the map and it's gonna be Zeb just desperately trying to stay alive. Those boops coming in, knocking back time. We're gonna get back towards his teammates, but it's gonna be Heedan still out of position. There are four misfits behind enemy lines. Envy's able to take care of him. And now it's gonna be misfits trying to contest this and Envy is getting very close to that first checkpoint. The Coco Earth Shatter coming right down, sets up Envy for two more kills, and that should be it. They're going to take this point with incredible speed. A triple kill from Coco setting that up. Yeah, and Envy gets through that first checkpoint with EZP. Five minutes to get to that second checkpoint there. You can see at the top of your map, that white little arrow there at the bottom, that will be the next place that Envy needs to go to extend this map further. And they are going to take this top hangar area. And why is this such a good area of the map to lock down? because you have all sorts of options now to kill the other team. But the next fight is underway. The Blizzard coming out from Misfits, trying to do some zone control, but internet hook Taimu having none of it. Yet another great hook coming down in Taimu. He's going to go to the right side here, looking for another. Finds another, the Nano Boosted Reaper. A little bit too much for him to bite off. But Misfits still on the ropes, just desperately trying to restabilize. Yeah, and you see Misfits going to use a decent amount of ultimates here. You saw the Graviton Surge from Crew come in. Zeb actually uses a sound barrier there to protect his teammates, give themselves a little bit more sustainability, but Envy is still taking the fight to Misfits here. It's gonna be Internet Hulk, has a Graviton Surge of his own. He's gonna be frozen, but you see the supports keeping him alive, that Ana Grenade and its effects doing great things for Envy here, and Internet Hulk desperately trying to make things happen. There comes the Graviton, gonna drop a barrier onto Coco, and Envy still somehow in this. Envy's in this, but this has been a great defense from Misfits soon with the cleanup there. And even though Misfits was losing people left, right, and center, they kept enough alive to keep that payload from moving. Remember that any time a defense is able to keep someone on the point, they will stop it from moving. And that was Misfits' main objective, playing the objective. So now it's going to be Taimu switching off of Roadhog, going over to that McCree yet again. Tailspin now is going to be running May. Now, how do you get this Misfits team out of this top position? We talked about how advantageous in it. What can Envious do to break? For Envy, one of the best ways is running a tank like Winston to dive right in. But for Envy, they're just going to try and go in from the high ground to start, go through this right room. But they're going to run into the Blizzard here. However, Nevix fights up more than they get you, and they get a whole bunch of people frozen. But here comes Rib. The party room is real. Swings his hammer. There's nowhere for anyone to run. And soon and Rib able to capitalize on Nevix's Valiant Sacrifice. Yeah, and that gong going off, that means it is a team kill. Everybody falling for Envy. Misfits with a very good defensive hold. You saw those Maywalls of Nevix proving to be very effective. He was able to just block off the enemy team, and now it's going to be Envy going over to that Farah mercy combination. So whenever you see somebody pick Farah, which is the hero that Tailspin has right now, you will see Mercy come into the equation. 
Chips. He's going to be moving up. Probably will not have a resurrection up in this fight. Tailspin raining in the rockets from above. And Misfits, they know about this aerial threat. They're taking a little bit of cover, but Envy controlling their movement a little bit better. Crew, though. Defensive Graviton coming out. Immediately takes out Harry. Sets up Zoom for one more. It's two early picks here from Misfits X. Yeah, and it was Envy with a ton of time going into his second checkpoint CP. Five minutes on the clock. You look up top. Two minutes and 13 seconds left. Tailspin's going to be taken out. So another good hold here for Misfits, and you see it's going to be Internet Hulk switching over to that Winston. So what that tells me is he's going to try and get close to that carrier, jump on top, cause some commotion here for Envy, and then you're going to see the damage dealers of Envy as Taimu and Tailspin come in trying to clean up some kills. And the key thing for Envy here is that they only have two really good attempts left at this, but oh my goodness, the fire strike from Coco stops Zoon from doing what he wants to do, and Envy with a big 65 power play here. They're going to pop the sound barrier and go right in. Yeah, this is a fight that Envy has committed a lot to, and they're going to need to win it. Nevix trying to drop shots here with McCree. He's going to be forced to fail back, and if, even if Envy, you know, a few of their players get taken out, look at Chips. He has that Mercy Resurrection. You see it come in there. Here comes the Deadeye. Out of Nevix, able to line up two. Picks up a third through the air. One more to boot. Fantastic hold there from Misfits. Nevix going huge on McCree. Nevix, the savior there for Misfits. That was a difficult fight for them to win. They lost one player very early on, and now look at the alt economy. Envious, potentially down to their final push, must go into all these ultimates. X, I don't know if they can do it. Well, they do have Taimu with that Deadeye, and now you're gonna see Tailspin switch over to Genji, and they are going to get very aggressive soon, though. Be able to pick up one. Taimu is able to connect that flashbang, stop him from continuing that death blast, and be able to land one nice headshot, able to take him out. Here comes the Deadeye from Taimu. He's gonna be able to get one. Internet Hulk, he's put to sleep completely out of the fight, but you see Taimu doing damage on McCree. Rib gonna go with a big Earth Shatter. Internet Hulk, though, able to stay alive. Fantastic shots from Taimu. Able to take out Rib before he's able to charge Internet Hulk into the wall. That's a big play, keeping up one of the tanks for Envy. That required phenomenal play from all of Envious, the supports, the damage. Taimu came in with some very clutch kills, but Misfits, they can still stop this. They come in with a sound barrier of their own, going to push Envious back. Envious, though, bending, not breaking. Coco dropping the Earth Shatter. The Graviton out from Crew, and Misfits, they're taking advantage. They get two kills off of it. Crew moving forward, melting some faces, and Misfits on the verge of the second point hold. Yeah, and you see it's going to be Misfits getting a hole there in round number one. So Envy only completes one checkpoint. They're very close to completing the second one, just not good enough there at the end. And now, ZP, what do you think went wrong there for Envy? I think what went wrong for Envy there is that they should have went to the Winston a little bit earlier. They really did have problems getting on the high ground. Once they went in to that second point and they weren't able to really get momentum going, they should have changed up strategy a little bit, been a little bit more aggressive in denying the high ground. Unfortunately, they switched a little bit too late and they just didn't have the time remaining. Yeah, and soon was able to come in, pick up some big kills on Reaper. He's been the superstar for this Misfits team. Real, true Cinderella story. Nobody expected them to be here. They are defying all odds against the Giants of Team Envious. You see, it will be the side of Misfits where they will be able to go on the attack for Watchpoint Gibraltar. But look at that, Kim Pham, head of esports over at Blizzard Entertainment, gathering the troops. Everybody watching, big shout out to you guys. Incredible game we have in Overwatch on our hands. You know, so thankful to be given this opportunity to be able to cast with you, ZP. No, it's, uh, it's been an experience. Just the crowd here has been phenomenal. The games have been great. And right now, this is going to be a tough road moving forward. And you see there on your screen, that is going to be the goal that Misfits needs to get to if they are going to win the map. So they do not need to complete the map, they just need to best Envy's efforts. And now on the offensive side of things, uh, Misfits will wait to see when they lock in their composition. On the side of Envy, they'll switch things up a little bit. It will be Time who's staying on McCree, it'll be Tailspin switching over. He'll be running Roadhog now. So what Envy is looking for here is a classic crossfire defense where they will have a few people on the ground to the server room, but expect Taimu and Chips to really hang back and try and just be safe, get good poke in at Misfits as they move in. And it's not a con to see teams hold for a very long time here pre-hangar phase. Yeah, it'll be Misfits starting their offensive attack. Can they win map number three here against Envy? Our series in the Overwatch Open Grand Finals tied at one map apiece. Be Nevix now running Reaper and soon going over to Tracer. So you see, he is so valuable on Tracer on this map. He'll get behind enemy lines, cause a lot of commotion, cause a lot of damage. That they feel that strongly about having Tracer on their team that they switch him off of that Reaper. 
and the one trouble that Soon has had, though, in this matchup, he's not on the Reaper, and we go on Tracer. He's been getting shut down by Roadhogs a lot. Lucky for him, it's not Taimu. Unfortunately for him, it is Tailspin. As Tailspin gets the hook, so there will be no reprieve. Both Tailspin and Taimu, real good at Roadhog. I, I feel like Soon just has a magnet for those hooks right on his chest, as you know, you've seen Roadhog be very effective on the side of Envy. Now, the push going to stall out here for Misfits, obviously, don't want to push in with the man disadvantage, but how do you think they choose the course their attack? It looks like they're just going to go straight down the front. You agree with this? I don't agree with this. Soon isn't even back in this fight right away. Envy, they're backing up, but they're winning this poke war. Misfits in a bit of trouble. They're just trying to break the Reinhardt shield, but we see Soon coming back in the fight a little bit late. They're pushing Envy back again, and Rib actually able to isolate out Tailspin. It's a 65 for Misfits, and their gamble might be paying off. Their game momentum on their side. It's three kills for Misfits, and they're very likely to take this point. Yeah, Taimu just trying to hold down that top ground for Envy, putting down shots, but you see Hidan on Anna and how effective she can be. Can shoot her teammates, heal them, deal damage to the other team when she lands shots on them. And a little bit under five minutes this Misfits team has. Ton of time on the clock, ZP. Hidan, though, gonna get a nice barrier from his Zarya. Gonna be able to keep him alive. You see the damage he's able to put out and the healing as well. Shows you how versatile the hero Anna can be. And look at Misfits. They are fully stacked with ultimates right now. It is not looking good for Envy. Envy is in a world of hurt right now. They have to hold out for another four minutes and 34 seconds. Easier said than done when Crew has the Groudton Surge at the ready. Looking to set up Envious for the win. They are going to open up with the Sound Bear and the Graviton, and here comes Rip, in come the Misfits. Yeah, and you see Crew gonna get in a position where he can use that Graviton Surge to group players together on the side of Envy. Not gonna use it now, though, because you see Tailspin and Taimu picking up some kills. Crew just trying to get back, trying to stay alive because he needs to wait for his teammates to spawn up. A lot of pressure on Envy here, ZP. You think they can do it? It's going to be difficult. We saw them almost do it on King's Row, but Misfits, they threw away a big opportunity there. They gave Envious time to reestablish. However, going to the next fight, Misfits still maintains the advantage they had before in terms of ultimates. Crew's gonna have another chance to set this up. And Tailspin going to get hit by the Sleep Dart early on. I don't know if they can follow it through from that angle as he will get shielded. So Envious holding on here. Interesting positioning. Yeah, you know, Misfits has nobody that can deal range damage, so not able to pick him up. And Tailspin's actually going to drop at the hands of Nevix first. He's going to be Nano Boosted, trying to fly through with a Death Blossom. He gets Flashbang, though, by Taimu, but you see the Nano Boosted Reaper. We talked about the combination earlier before the broadcast began. And you see, soon though, able to pick up one in the feed. Misfits inching closer. Big Pulse Bomb comes out from Tailspin. Needs to stay alive, needs to contest the payload. And this it might be it for Envy on this point. They're trying to stall with all of their power. Taimu coming to a fight late. Can he be the hero? He takes down Hidan, looking for more. He's outnumbered, but Envious starting the stream back onto the point. Misfits so close to victory. Envious, they need to stay at the point. They're getting zoned out. They have to get on this cart. Yeah, and you see Internet Hulk gonna switch over to D.Va, just a hero that you can be a little bit more agile, get over the payload as fast as possible. Misfits so close to winning this map number three. Nevix comes down with a big Death Blossom, able to get to Tailspin, still alive. He finally falls. Misfits takes map number three. Oh my goodness, entirely thing to have Nevix helicoptering in from above to get the final cleanup there. Misfits, nothing short of relentless, and they are now up two to one in this series. Uh, Misfits, one map away from completing the dream. They come in, an underdog. They find themselves here in the grand finals out of the EU side of the bracket. Let's see if they can complete their Cinderella story right after this quick commercial break.